Hi! In this episode I'm changing the default attribute form for a layer to something more user-friendly. I've created a layer with trees and attributes for tree type, girth, health index, inventory date and a row ID. When I add a new tree to the layer, I get a standard form with line edit widgets for all attributes. In the layer properties, you can change the fields layout for this form. I'm going to stick to the auto generate option, but you can do even more with the drag and drop designer or provide a Qt designer interface file. To make the most change with the least amount of work, I changed the edit widget to something more suitable for each of the attributes. Unique values create a list from the current values in a drop-down tool. You can set this as editable if you want the user to add new values to the list. Range can be applied to numbers and has a few options. You can set the minimum and maximum values as well as a step interval. With a value map you can set a value to be stored in the database and a corresponding description to be shown to the user instead. With date time you can create a date picker to simplify date selection. Fields of no importance to the user can easily be hidden. Now when you create new features, you get the modified edit form which makes filling in correct attributes much easier. The attribute table is also updated with the aliases and descriptions from any value maps. The identify tool will also use the custom form to present the data. See you next time!